From the surprising origins of his stage name to THE Steven Spielberg putting his faith in the actor, here are all the crazy things you didn't know about Vin Diesel. Now you know him as the iconic Dom Toretto and the badass on screen, it wouldn't be a surprise if he had a name equally as cool in real life. I mean, it looks like Vin Diesel is the name of an action movie star, and it couldn't be more fitting for a guy like him. But sadly, the 56-year-old actor's name is nothing like his screen name. Don't get me wrong though, because his real name is almost just as cool as the one we hear about. Vin's real name is actually Mark Sinclair, and not a lot of people know that. If you're wondering why he changed his name, well, considering the kind of roles he wanted to take on, Diesel thought it would be best if he opted for a name with a little more pizzazz. The name Vin Diesel didn't just come from nothing though, Mark put a lot of thought into it. He took inspiration from his stepfather's name Vincent and added Diesel to make it sound cool. It's great that the Fast and Furious actor honors his stepdad in such a lovely way, especially because the two of them have such a wonderful relationship. Vin's mom, Delora, raised him along with Vincent, and the two of them grew really close. The actor never knew his real father, but it's clear that his stepdad filled those shoes perfectly. That's not the only interesting thing about Vin Diesel though, because he's quite the character both on screen and in real life. It's like he's lived a million lifetimes all at once, and has had some interesting opportunities come her way. For example, think back to Daredevil, that one unmemorable movie starring Ben Affleck from 2003? Well, would you believe it if I told you that Vin Diesel was offered the role first? Here's what happened. Diesel was offered the role first, but decided to turn it down because he thought a better opportunity would come his way. And boy, was he right. After turning down Daredevil, Vin went on to choose Triple X as his next role, and that was the best possible decision he could have made for his career. After all, he was just getting started in Hollywood at the time and needed to make the right decisions. It's insane to think about how if he chose Daredevil instead of Triple X, he wouldn't have had the career that he does today. Promoting Triple X instead of blindly accepting Matt Murdock's offer clearly was the better deal in the long run. One thing's for sure, this guy knows how to make a good decision, especially because even years later, the franchise is crazy successful. In fact, the star-studded cast of the 2017 sequel, The Return of Xander Cage, is proof of how successful the whole series is. Like, imagine the gorgeous Deepika Padukone and the iconic Samuel L. Jackson all in one movie. It's like a dream come true. Now that we're on the topic of the heavily tatted up Xander Cage, here's something you should know about Vin. He doesn't always have something in common with the characters he plays. Sure, he gives a 100% of everything he's got into the projects that he's in, but despite all of his cool experiences, Diesel has kept his body a blank canvas. You'd expect a tough guy like him to mark his memories on his fit bod, but Vin's determined not to have any tattoo needles near him. Surprising, I know. Honestly though, it's probably the best thing for the actor to keep his body clean, because it keeps his options open when it comes to the roles he can take up. Plus, directors and other creative teams prefer if they have a blank canvas to work with. They can really let their imagination run wild when it comes to stuff like this. As I said before, Vin leads a very interesting life. What else can you expect from a charming personality like him? His life before fame was just as interesting as it is right now. I mentioned Vin's relationship with his stepfather before and I can't help but gush over it. Vince was also a lover of the arts and became an acting teacher because of this. Since he and Vin were so close growing up, you'd think that the actor took after his father figure when it comes to his career. But nope, that's not how he got into acting. Before he became Vin Diesel, a young Mark Sinclair found himself getting into trouble, you know, like any normal teenager does. But Mark was more of a delinquent than normal and once vandalized Greenwich Village with his group of friends. As you can expect, they were busted by the theater's director. Thankfully, the director didn't just report them to the police and instead gave them two options. Either they'd have the cops called on them or they'd have to perform in the next production. Thankfully, they chose the second option and that's how Vin discovered his love for acting. He stuck with it and bam, fast forward a few years, he went off to pursue it as a career at Hunter College in New York. Before the world knew it, Diesel became one of Hollywood's biggest action stars. Talk about an unexpected journey. Vin's claim to fame isn't typical, but aren't we glad he made it to where he is? To think if his friends didn't trash that theater, Diesel wouldn't be where he is today. Big Vin's rise to stardom isn't the only unexpected journey that he's been on.
It seems that he's dabbled in a bit of everything, so he's no one-trick pony. The actor hasn't been a huge fan of limiting himself, and while he had a humble beginning, he made sure to explore all his options before finally sticking with acting. A lot of people would be surprised to know that Vinny was a huge fan of the early hip-hop scene in the 80s. I know, incredible! Considering he grew up right in the heart of the Big Apple, Vin was always into the cool stuff. He really made the most of the art and subculture scene and took up breakdancing. Let me tell you, the man's got moves. There are so many videos of the 56-year-old actor breakdancing in his younger days, and they've gone viral for all the right reasons. Imagine a young, handsome Vin Diesel sporting an Adidas tracksuit, and wait for it, a full head of hair. He looks rad as heck, that's for sure. What makes this cooler is that Vin's still got his old moves, and he's got a tutorial online if you want to pick some of those up. Is there anything this guy can't do? He's an all-rounder with immense talent, that's for sure. What makes him even more lovable, though, is that Diesel has a heart of gold. His movies are his passion, and he has a habit of fully immersing himself in any project that he's a part of. If you needed any more proof that Vin isn't your typical run-of-the-mill actor, this next story should do it for you. Most big movie stars are in it for the money, but that's not the deal with Vin. He's a real risk-taker when it comes to the business of making a movie, and it's never just about the fat paycheck for him. Vin is all about producing his own films, and most big-shot actors would never choose to go down that path, especially when there's so many risks involved. Nobody would want to invest their millions into a project, but Vin went ahead and said, screw that. He's big on trusting his gut, and that's what he did when he negotiated to own the rights to those cool Riddick stories. That's not where it ends, though, because after he bought the rights, he funded the project all from his own wallet, without a big studio backing him up or anything. Total brassy move. You gotta hand it to Vin Diesel for being so generous and passionate about the stuff he loves. No wonder he's so different compared to all the other stars in Hollywood. Based on everything I've just said, it's easy to see Diesel as this untouchable Hollywood big shot who has millions. But, deep down, Vin is just a regular guy with ordinary interests. He's full of surprises too, and the fact that he's a huge Dungeons & Dragon nerd is proof. This dude's been into the game for more than three decades. And get this, he's super vocal about it. Nobody is safe from Vin spreading his love for the game, not even his fellow Hollywood actors. Most famously, he recently took Judy Dench down with him. I don't know about you, but it would be the opportunity of a lifetime to play the game with a legend like Vin for me. Here's the thing, though. Vin hasn't always been a legend. He made his way up there, thanks to another icon in the industry, recognizing his talent. A lot of people don't know this, but director Steven Spielberg helped jumpstart Big Vin's career. The legendary director let Vin Diesel take the lead in an indie project that he wrote and directed. Diesel's talent left Spielberg extremely impressed, and before he knew it, the young actor was offered a role in the timeless film Saving Private Ryan, where he was in the company of acting veterans like Tom Hanks. Talk about an inspiring success story. So from Steven Spielberg putting his faith in the actor to the surprising origins of his stage name, those were all the crazy things you didn't know about Vin Diesel.